a sneak peek of TLC's new series, Police Women of Broward County. Leaving, I'll send you a text message when I'm leaving work. If you're awake, call me back. I gotta go, bye. Hands, hands, hands! Put your hands up, do it now! Put your hands up, hands up! Got him? Get down, get down on the ground, down, down, down! My man, talk to me, what happened? What happened? Why didn't you just get a real job? Very proud. <laughs> Hell of a time. Police Women of Broward County premieres Thursday, August 6th at 9 on TLC. We got a little boo boo right here. Some people like can't understand, you know, it's such a tight schedule. I mean, there's so many things to do that I have to, to juggle. As big as I am. Hands about the same size, wanna show them? So what my dad used to always say to me when he'd drop me off at school is straight A's. Just try to keep the tradition going. Never in my life had I ever thought that I wouldn't finish school. I just got postponed a lot because, um, you know, I have my son young. There's many of uh, working adults who in their, you know, 11th year of school, so. Here I am, but that's what we gotta do. Financial planning, values and ethics of public administration, writing and research, and um, creative dramatics. Is that like a secret dream of yours? <laughs> no. I just, uh, I heard that it was a great class. A lot of fun, no papers to write. Straight A's, baby, straight A's. See that? 4.0. Broward's back. Get on the ground, get on the ground right now, get on the ground. Finally over. All right, today we're doing a buy bus operation. Right now we have an undercover driving around in the neighborhoods. We're gonna see if he can get anybody to sell him drugs. Once the deal's done, we're gonna swarm in and take the guy into custody. Our unit likes to do a lot of proactive enforcement, which means we're out there seeking these bad guys out. You can't just sit back and wait for them to come to you. All right, our undercover just drove into the neighborhood. This is a high crime area, so we're gonna sit here, wait and see if he can get a deal. Our undercover notifies us as soon as the deal's been done, it's go time. Hey, hey, stop, stop! Get on the ground, get on the ground, right now, get on the ground! On your stomach, on your stomach. Put your hand behind your back. All right, okay. he's got a joint, just this joint. That's it. Not doing any trouble here? No, 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 no. What about money that doesn't belong to you? No? This is all you got. Yeah, probably like a bag or two that I was going to roll outside this. What about that? That's what I just said. I got one bag in my pocket. Yeah. Although this guy has a little bit of marijuana on him, it's not the larger amount that I would imagine he'd be keeping in his possession. I know this guy has his bomb of marijuana somewhere in this store, so we go around and we start checking the store. What these bad guys do, they sell dope out of the store and they'll hide it in like the chips or cookies or something. We're gonna have to go through and find it. Drug dealers don't wanna keep all their drugs on them just in case they get searched by law enforcement. So we're very familiar with their tactic. Hey, you ain't coming. Uh -huh. So that's where he's hiding it. Good hit. Same bag that was in that guy's pocket. He was right here when we came up. There's the stash. Not yours. Like I said, I, I rarely believe what people tell me, because your actions said it all. 